So Saturday is going to be four stages of blind racing, uh, we think in the woods, so that'll be really cool. And then Sunday is going to be two stages, which we expect to be a bit longer, and then maybe up onto the open hillsides, so possibly quite different each day. normal race you've kind of got practice and you need to worry about uh, preparing sort of like learning each track whereas at this you kind of just turn up and race so it's, it's kind of more relaxing and less yeah there's almost less to do there's less to worry about so you just you just start the stage and then take it as it comes <laughs> stages and they're maybe going to be a bit longer than today's stages uh, but that's all we really know about tomorrow. I love blind racing because it's really, really fun and exciting just having to read the trail as you see it and having to kind of keep looking ahead and that you've got to really concentrate hard and read the track um, and it's just, it's just really cool. Yeah, I love it. Pensaba que sería más cuesta abajo que tanto pedaleo, pero muy bonito. Duro, pero bonito. The last stage is really hard. Yeah, it's like narrow little ledges and then the tightest switchbacks. The last stage is the hardest one. The first stage we did today was, um, but it took me 50 minutes. <laughs> I think it was, it was a long way. But I don't know what the statistics were, but it was a huge stage and really physical and hike a bike and real gnarly and physical. So it was really fun. And um, the last one was just about five minutes, and it was yeah fun, pretty sketchy, kind of off camera and real greasy. And through the time to finish, that was really good. Mais justement de participer à cette à cette épreuve qui qui permet justement de de se de se jauger donc physiquement et au moins ça prouve vraiment que l'enduro c'est physique, technique et qu'il faut être polyvalent vraiment dans, dans tous les domaines.